Hey there. We're just finishing up a shoot um, up here at beautiful Blue Sky Ranch. Sunset in One Chip, Utah. This is actually where our old shop used to be, about six miles from our new shop. Um, I wanted to show you not this beautiful rig, but that beautiful rig. Come check it out. We have our Rome 95 liter case on top of L Track. The tongue box here has our Yeti cooler in it. That's a 65 liter Yeti cooler. Plenty of beer for all the crew. That locks in and out. And then come over to the other side. This is where it gets really cool. Check this out. Dual battery bank, 225 amp hours. That's going to be with an air compressor that doubles as a foghorn. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so you actually have air on board. You could do bike tires. You can pump up your rigs tires. You could do a lot with that. That has a half gallon tank with it. Uh, here we actually throw in a little four inch tube that can fit your fly rods or your rug, anything that you want to store in a small compact container. Moving back here, let's check out the, well, let's check out the outside. Let me get out of the way. Custom method wheels, red anodized, murdered out trailer. Uh, you have it all. On top, you have the rooftop tent. This actually has dual awnings. It also has an air cooler and the max air fan. Uh, let's go check out the interior. Okay, firstly, um, this is from Overland Gear Guy. Thank you so much. You guys produce awesome stuff. Uh, this is going to be our insulated window covers. That is with magnets. Easy on, easy off, fully insulated, fully blacked out. So if you get a little bit too drunk and want to sleep late, totally cool. Um, for your buggy areas of the country, uh, you guys are going to have door screens. Again, magnets, super easy. You go in, uh, it opens up, and you leave, and it closes. <clears throat> Check out the inside. Turn on some lights for you. Uh, so the lights are going to be on uh, your remote. Boom. Fully dimmable, like always. Our interior, Baltic birch, headboard. This has 110 power. Um, the cabinets, like always, uh, are going to be... Uh, fully CNC. They integrate together to create a laptop mount for you. This here is going to be uh, your shade for up top on the Stargazer. And then if you look up, that's where your max air and your air cooler are. Okay, moving back. Rhino line defenders. Um, super durable. Plenty of rigidity to actually get up and stand on if you want to access the rooftop tent or the awning. Moving backwards, our beautiful galley, what we're really known for. So you're going to have uh, the Dometic fridge freezer back here, again on locking drawer slides. This is, got right now our produce from our, our photo shoot, um, but this actually has a two burner stove has a nice big drawer for all your silverware or pots and pans, whatever you want to put in there. Underneath is going to have the propane heater. And then up top is our um, <clears throat> table that fronts as the cabinet face. So this mounts to either side of the trailer uh, and then stows away. For your travel. The other side is going to be your cutting board, which is also fully removable solar controller in the back and then up top is going to be your lights okay let's close this up let's take a look at that beautiful panel yep. here we go this is a carbon fiber panel that matches the curve of the trailer that integrates beautifully so you collect solar while you're traveling here's the best part pull it off And now you can set it up away from your camp. You've, using the extension cord, you can actually put this in the sun um, anywhere. So if your trailer is parked in the shade, you can move this to the sunlight. Let's check out the other side. Okay, back on the other side here. Uh, so we're going to have our second awning. <clears throat> this one's great if you're not going to deploy the tent, 
then you could pull the second awning out. We do have an annex room for this Rome awning. Uh, the other cool stuff on the side of the trailer uh, is going to be the hot water heater. We also have 110 power on the exterior. Now that's going to be for um, <clears throat> anything you're going to run power for outside. We actually have a Traeger grill upgrade with a Traeger mount that actually integrates to your trailer. Uh, your propane tank runs to your stove. And then uh, we talked about the hot water heater a little bit, but this is on demand hot water. So what you're going to do is take a quick connect from your water outlet bring it to your hot water heater and have instant hot water for showers or dishes, uh, general cleanup, super key. That locks completely waterproof. Um, and then as we look on the inside again, just on the other side, I wanna show you and, and just clarify, down here, <clears throat> you actually have the vent for the uh, forced air propane heater. Now, what happens is that thermostat there controls your temperature and the propane fires that heater and exhausts outside the trailer. So at a flip of a switch, you have hot air. If it gets cool at night, um, you can just turn it on for a few minutes and warm up that cabin. I'm gonna show you on film here how easy it is to set up this rooftop tent. You're basically gonna grab your ladder, deploy your tent, make sure that it's leveled, Perfect, good stable ladder. Come up here. Lift the awning up. Boom, just like that. This tent can now sleep up to three kids or two adults, making your trailer five to four people. That's it on this bill. Actually, no, let me show you the most exciting part. I am really sorry. Come this way, we're gonna have to get real low. So you can notice this trailer is about 24 inches off the ground. Come down, I'll show you why. We just designed and built this new production suspension. This is a coil over design, fully dampened suspension with upgradable springs. Um, really does well off road. Super, super supple and activates really, really great, creating a nice ride over rough road. All right, guys, I think that's the build. Let us know if you have any questions. Reach on out in the comments below. Thank you.